Hey, for starters, thank you for clicking on my video, all right, because it, it actually helps. Um, in this video, we're going to be going over the puppies, uh, the four-week update. We're also going to be um, deworming them. We're also going to be cutting the nails. We'll be feeding them mush and all of that good stuff. Yeah, Mazikeen's in the background. She's crying and stuff. She's ready to get out and go outside, but y'all stay tuned, man. All right, we got some stuff. We got some good content coming. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, hey, like, comment, subscribe. I'm Mr. Coppable. Let's see if I can do this. My dog, she's standing guard. Her name Mazakeen. Name on the track. Standing guard with my dog Mazakeen, yeah. Standing guard with my dog Mazakeen, yeah. Standing guard with my dog Mazakeen. She watch why I go to sleep. Standing guard right there, yeah. Standing guard with my dog Mazakeen. Take a bite of your ass if you come around here Standing guard Standing guard Yeah, she's standing guard Standing guard with my dog Mazakeen Standing guard with my dog Mazakeen Standing Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. Coppable And so in this video here, we're going to go over the puppies and we're going to be offering them deworming and stuff like that. Um, so we got the table set up here to show you guys as far as what we have, um, as far as some of the things that we use for our kennel, like the Zep, you know, that's a cleaning product that we use um, for our puppies. So we use the peroxide because puppies are more sensitive um, to harsh chemicals. You know, then we have a couple of other branded products. But before we get into this video, all right, this video is sponsored by Pautaculus Pet Transport. All right, guys, we're going to sponsor our own video. Um, and before we start as well, we're also partnered with Trupanion. All right, guys, so I want you guys to pause the screen or whatever you need to do for this. All right, and so this is what it says is, is what's covered. All right, you got diagnostic tests, medications, surgeries, hospital stays, prescription food, right prosthetic devices ortho devices carts basically the little wheelchairs that you see the dogs be scooting on supplements and herbal therapy all right so as far as who's covered all dogs and cats over eight weeks and under 14 years old can enroll for lifelong coverage okay guys this is true panion all right and then what? We're going to cover the what? One simple plan covers 90% of eligible costs for all new illnesses and injuries with no payout limits. That's right, guys. You heard that. No payout limits. All right. So all of our puppies, they leave with this true panion, guys. All right. And so also it, it talks about when. All right. Coverage begins after applicable policies waiting period. All right, so that's if you just sign up for True Panion. All right, if you sign up with us or a breeder that offers this, um, it's covered three days prior to they go home. Well, they say three days, so it's the day they go home, the day before they go home, and the day after. So that's three days, guys. All right, so it's the day they go home or the day before and the day after. All right, so those are the three days, all right? is five days for injuries and 30 days for illnesses all right guys so that's something that i want you guys to to understand so that's why it's important to activate this policy right before you even pick up your puppy so when you come over here right activate the policy before you pick up your puppy that's just something that i recommend anybody do all right um if you're interested in offering true panion 
down in the description is going to be a link to the True Panion Breeder Support Program. All right, and then let's cover the where for this, okay, guys? Because um, that's a really important part. All right, visit any veterinarian, emergency care, or specialty hospital in the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico. All right, so there are some limitations to if you live in California or if you live in Florida. Um, the policies are set up a little bit different. So if you are in California or Florida and you're going to be purchasing a puppy from us or if you're going to be using True Panion for any other breeder, all right, that's something that you want to look into. All right, guys, so now that we got that out the way, we'll just throw it, right? <laughs> um, the headset that we're using, right? Is going to be this wireless headset all right you guys can find this on amazon all right and so that's how we're getting better quality and so while we're on while we're on the subject of products that we offer before we get into the puppies um i want to show you our emotional support we're a certified federal facility to certify emotional support animals we do a whole temperament test and things like that all right so um, we also, if you're if you're not local or anything like that, um, we can do like a Zoom call and things like that um, if you want the temperament test. All right, I'm not going to throw that because that's actually ours. All right, and then we also, a lot of people have been asking us as far as like, what do we use for the umbilical cords um, when we're whelping the litters, right? When we're helping the mom. All right, and so this is what we use. We use a full gold mosquito hemostat. Okay, and so we do sell these. We sell them in sets of 12. All right, so if you guys are interested in that, reach out to us on our Instagram channel. I say Instagram channel, but <laughs> uh, hit us up on our Instagram. All right, guys, um, it's gonna be Coppable Media. You should be seeing that pop up on the screen. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it here or if it's gonna be right here. All right, but go to our, go to our Instagram channel, okay? Um, as far as the other products that you're seeing up front, you're seeing our salmon, our salmon oil, which is high in your omega three, six, and nine. Definitely, if you're not using salmon oil, right, you gotta get, <laughs> you gotta get you some salmon oil. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put some gloves on to help the contrast of these puppies, um, just because uh, they're gray, white, black, and stuff like that. Right. So. This breeding was Mazikeen times Earl the Merle. All right, Earl the Merle is from Transformation Kennels. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Theo. All right. Also shout out to Queen City Bullies is because he's the one that plugged me with Chris. Um, we've been looking around for a Merle stud dog to use. And um, we kept coming back to Cardi Boy. Do y'all research, right? And so... We was just like, man, we, we must be on the right track. And then when I reached out to Aaron, he plugged me with Chris. Well, he plugged me with Transformation, and I think Theo had picked up, you know what I'm saying, and he shot me over to Chris and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely go check their channel out. All right, guys, um, what we're going to be using um, to deworm is going to be what we get from our vet. Sometimes we use over-the-counter dewormer. Um, just in this instance, we was already at the vet, so we have dewormer from them. Um, and like I say, any other time, right, is you can get these right here for free from Walmart. You can just go to Walmart and ask them for it. Um, and what we find out is that this helps because we ran around looking for, you know, our syringes. Our house is hunted for some odd reason. So things get misplaced often here. And so... In this, you're gonna get a syringe, and you're gonna get this bottle uh, thing, right? That's so you can stick the, I'll show you guys here in a minute. All right, oh, well, it's already got one in there, all right? So you'll stick this in there like that. And so now this is potent stuff, guys. When you get it from the vet, it's definitely, definitely potent stuff. Then the stuff that you're getting over the counter. Okay, this right here, the, the instruction says one ml, right? for 10 pounds so per 10 pounds so that that's how you follow that guide guys all right all right so let's see we're gonna let's get started right all right you can bring them over All right, so 
this is male number one. All right. And so it is time for them to get they, they nails cut and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm putting, I put the gloves on so you guys can see contrast. Like <laughs> they're a little bit scary right now. All right. So full tail. All right. And so just stay tuned, guys, and keep watching so you can see the chest on that boy. Very compact. This boy is coming in at four pounds, six ounces, guys. All right. Four pounds, six ounces. And so that's the tricky part on this, guys, is you have to do your math, right? So it's going to be half a ml, right, for five pounds. So we're going to go right under the halfway mark um, for this puppy. But that's how that works, guys. You just got to basic math. And so what I like to do first is get that bubble out. Right. So this way I know what I'm actually working with. And so this is going to be a long video, guys. Definitely. Definitely going to be a long video. So y'all stay tuned. I appreciate everybody for following us. All right. And so that's the only thing with these from Walmart. You got to be careful. Um, the puppy should should like it. And booyah. Now you now you have a dewormed dog. All right. And so these are the little cutters that we use. And all you're trying to do is just snip a little bit of it off, guys. You're not trying to do much snipping, all right? Because they're just they're just puppies. And so, what we find to do easy is just the tip. We just do the tips. Nothing extravagant, guys. And so they still got that puppy breath, <laughs> which I don't know. I like I like puppy breath. All right. So now this one is ready. All right. So we've dewormed with you guys right on the scene. We've cut the nails for them. And you guys were able to see all of that live. All right, and so here we go. We got another one here. Compact, short compact. This is going to be another boy. All right. This boy is coming in at four pounds, four ounces. All right. Again, four pounds, four ounces. So we're going to be doing the same thing as far as the dewormer goes here. And so, guys, stay up on your dewormer for sure. Don't skip this process. This is a very, very, very important process. Very, very, very important process. We don't skip any process here. Okay. All right. We got we got pinch of paws getting ready to come in the building. So I was trying to do this video before I go to the hospital. Well, the doctor. This one's running away. <laughs> this one's running away, yeah. But we're gonna be doing this live now. I will have cuts. I will have cuts in this video. So don't don't think that we're, we're gonna edit this. And so again, that's gonna be male number two. All right, they got a chest spread on them. All right. All of them have full tails. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about the tails. And there go another one that we successfully dewormed, guys, right? 
All right, so we've dewormed them. We've cut their nails. And so I know I promised you guys that we'd be doing mush. So we're still going to do a mush feeding. All right. This is male number three. Um, this male right here is definitely compact. So all your litter should be pretty consistent. And see, I knew that would happen. That's why I got this. Couldn't wait to get out. I'm sure poop be coming next, y'all. All right, and then we just throw it away. All right, so this guy is sitting at four pounds, even four pounds. So. Look consistent, you know, as far as the ounces go, but the ounces could be the food, guys. All right, so don't worry about that. All right, show you the, the chest on this guy. All right, and so the more the more you touch your dogs, the more. Um, All right, so again, um, this this boy here, I believe he was sitting right at four ounces. We had some technical difficulty, four pounds. Um, we had some technical difficulties. Yeah, so this guy is sitting at four pounds. All right, so he's used the bathroom on us. You know, we've cut his nails. Now it's time to deworm him. And so the dewormer tastes really good to them. Again, guys, that's male three. All right, so he is compact. Um, you, you'll see as I'm holding him up. Um, compared to my forearm on the size of them all right um, they will be getting their ears done uh, we have two left out of this litter um, so if you guys are interested um, the links are all down in the description down below all right all right so um, you're more than welcome to go down in the description down below contact us you can contact us through our phone number our email our instagram our facebook we have more than one way to do it all right, this one right here is going to be our two-faced male. Well, he was two-faced, but as you can see, he's actually growing into that stuff down below here. You know, so he's also got, whoop, he's also got that patch right here. Really solid male. Um, by far one of the biggest. They all have full tails. All right, so he's four pounds. 14 ounces yep so he's four pounds 14 ounces so he's roughly what six six ounces bigger than male one and so this is male four all right guys so not quite five pounds I was wishing for that five pound mark but he is a, a he chills, but he's a crybaby. All right, so you guys uh, comment down below so far on which one you like. All right, they all they all different. They all have their own personalities. because of the try all right guys and so we're doing all this all this live with you well not really because i'm gonna have cuts in it and so none of them have a problem with the dewormer at all so you should never have a problem with the dewormer the only problem that you really should have is probably transferring them over from mama's milk to mush all right and so let's get you a chest of this boy and so the i keep lifting the chest up so you guys can see the chest um the same concept is for the bowl guys as they start to eat and get bigger 
lift that bowl up, get it off the ground. It, it makes them stretch their neck up. What's going on? Hmm? You know, it, it, make, it makes them stretch their neck up. And so this is female number one. All right. This is the one that I told everybody that they were sleeping on, that she was blue. All right. And so I don't know if this camera is going to do it any justice, but she's now got tri markings coming in on her face. All right. Um, the hardest part about her is seeing those tri markings on the head. Um, her head is blown out. So as I tilt her down, see her head is blown out with that brown. The brown is just kind of all through the coat. It's kind of washing that blue out so you really can't see the blue. Um, and so y'all comment down below what color you, you guys think this is. I had somebody tell me it was a blue champagne. I had somebody tell me it was a blue fawn, which blue champagne or champagne is fawn for the most part. You know, um, it's just a fancier way of saying it if you want. You know, it's a breeder technique, really. Somebody says champagne. They're just trying to get an extra, you know, a few dollars on, on the color. Color is not number one, though, guys. Okay? So, Mazakine already had the structure. She had everything that we was looking for. And all we needed was a splash of color. Okay? So, let's weigh this girl. Four pounds, two ounces. Okay? Again, she's four pounds, two ounces. So your litter should all be pretty consistent. Now, if you got fluctuating dogs, odds are there's something in those dogs that isn't consistent. They was mixing and matching, you know, dogs as far as when I say mixing and matching, I'm talking about class, you know, pocket, standard, XL, things like that. Um, so that typically throws their weight off. Now, I know some people's going to get in comments and talk about metabolism and all this other stuff. Yes, that plays a role in it. Okay, she's already got hers cut. All right, and so this is our keeper, but y'all already know how that works, right? If you got, if y'all got that bag, y'all can have her. So we got her listed right now at eight, and as she grows, she's probably gonna get to ten. All right, guys. And so that's just the reality of it. Um, if you're going to talk to a breeder about getting their keeper. Just make sure you got the bag is because they're keeping it for a reason. All right. And so all of our females that we have this for a certain, you know, we're, we're having certain looks that we're looking for. Right. And so this is female number two. And so the mathematics on me, as my people ask me, why are my dogs the price they are now? My girls on my keepers, I price them high just for the simple fact is that I'm trying to keep the dog. Mazakin had six puppies the first go, go around. This is her second breed, and she had 10. So anywhere between six to 10 puppies is what you're, you're looking at to have. Mazakin's mom, she had six puppies. So you can go back in the pedigree and kind of look at that. Some people will be like, well, that's not real, but it is. Okay, and so let's weigh this girl. She's compact, guys. So she's... Four, four pounds even all right and she's got her she's got the most busiest pattern ever guys all right um the other one's got more big blown out splotches hers is more like spotted she's got a few of the big patches she's she's a little she's a little shy but she's me yeah she's got freckles on the face try to show you guys her chest if she stand up come on mama all right y'all see that so, y'all comment down below on which one is your favorite. So, she's had her nails cut too. So, four pounds. Did I deworm her already? I was on a roll talking. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, man, I'm, I'm prepared, guys. Check it out. I told you I'll be sweating when I do these videos for y'all. And again, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys for coming on here. I appreciate everybody. We couldn't do this without you guys, you know, so thank you so much. And so it's a lot of it's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, but I, I love it. Oh, fuck. For the people that's skipping through this video and they're asking why I got gloves on, 
again if you would watch that in the beginning i told you it's contrast these puppies uh the color of them um is a little bit weird so we want we went with a blue glove we wanted to do black but i think the black would have distorted the colors for you guys so i got you mama i got you i ain't gonna drop you all right, so she's a little bit longer than the other female. All right, so she she's going to have a little bit more size on her. Um, we have her listed at 15,000. Again, like I said, it's our keeper. Um, you should be able to make about 30,000 minimum. These are the numbers that people aren't really going to tell you, but you should be able to make 30,000 minimum on your paper dogs. Okay. All right, and so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so guys um thank you for watching the video all right so all these products you can find on amazon or at tractor supply um we will be coming out with a cop puppy kit um copper breeding kit and a bunch of other copable brands all right um we are a registered trademark so don't even worry about that if you guys are gonna get on here about that we're licensed breeders and transporters you know so th this is not for you guys this is for the people that really want to learn and for the people that want to see what we do. Um, it takes a lot to set this stuff up for you guys. So, like I said, smash that like button, right? Hit the subscribe and hit the bell the bell icon, guys. It's because that's how you're going to get notified that, you know, we're doing these videos. Check out our live videos. And, guys, don't forget the RAK, guys. All right? Random acts of kindness. It's because it goes a long way, guys. You just never know what somebody's going through. You know, right? They can be getting ready to do something drastic to alter their course of life, right? But with us, you know, just asking, hey, how are you doing? You know, or, you know, you see that guy that really is homeless. You know, you want to buy him a meal and stuff like that. He appreciates that. You know, it's, it's those things that matter. All right, guys? So don't forget, random acts of kindness. Hey, I'm Mr. Coppable. If you knew better, you do better. I know I promised you a video of them eating mush. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to feed them some milk right now. I got to be quiet because Miss Copp will sleep. All right, so let's get started, yeah. wake him up. Come on, buddy. All right. Dip.
and never got too real. I heard they getting killed, trying to make a dollar bill. Ever took a leap of faith, far short of a blessing. Paparazzi vibes, why you still gripping your necklace? Personally, I don't do crowds, but it's looking like heaven. Keep a couple bullies round me, four leggings on extra. Big bark, no spark, but the bullies don't catch you. Official OAB license, ain't worried about checking. Basically, that's against the work, I put bull like a beverage. Puppies high in classes and take it. Trenches make dreams real hectic. I was told to be a leader as long as I'm breathing. Big dog, steady, I lead the work. Yeah, I'm a dog, dog breeder. I'm a young dog breeder. Yeah, I'm a dog breeder. Yeah, you know I'm a dog. Yeah, I'm a dog. Catch a rap, stay ready like a locker room. I can never rap, but I better sell a dog or two. NY to KY, but stay to state is what I do. Never miss the money like a game, that's what I'ma do. Known for the strikes, but now I'm back pushing Mr. Copperboo. Take it to the next level, now we international. Always down the strap for success, whatever's possible. Yeah, I'm a dog breeder. I'm a young dog. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know I'm a dog. Yeah, I'm a dog. I'm a young dog. Breeder. Hey, hey, check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, I'm Mr. Coppable. Boy, copper boy, what a red demon with an old English, with a bad chick speak old English. Dope a man, I mean dope a man. Paperwork, you need to giant hand. Trustworthy to a blind man. Unstoppable, come copper boy, do the I, I, I done it then. I just can't do the running man, but I can run with my dope man. I can run with no hands, I can run with one hand. Low price, be the best price, but quality, keep it looking right. And you know that it's looking nice. North side to the east side, south side to the west side. Copper boy on any side, copper boy up in any state. Yeah, copper boy. Pull up at your place, metal door, couple Labrador. If you love the bulls, this is what it's for. Unstoppable, come a cop bull.